Hi, and welcome to Website Marketing Tips and Stuff for Social Media Managers and Marketing Directors. Today we're going to start off helping business owners and marketing managers prepare to monetize your website. So I'm assuming that you have a WordPress website and all of my tutorials are based on WordPress. So in this video, we're going to go over how to set up ad zones on your website, and whether you're selling other people's products or you're promoting your own products internally. Having ad zones on your site is an important part of tracking. Then we're going to review the ultimate heat map so that we can identify where those best ad zones should be. And I'm going to give you a tip on some branded short codes that makes it tr easy tracking for more of our promotions. So in part one, we're going to set up the advertisers, campaigns, banners, and ad zones using this WordPress plugin that helps us manage advertisers and banners throughout the entire website. And you can find this Ad Pro plugin at the address in the description below, or you can go to the address on your screen, douglampy.com slash adpro. So we're starting off with an installation of just the plugin with nothing in it at all. And so I'm going to add a new advertiser where then we can add in some campaigns for this advertiser. And this can get really, really as flexible as you want, but I'm just going to call this our basic ads advertiser. Now every advertiser can have campaigns running and each campaign can have banners within it. And all of the banners must go within an ad zone. So let's take a quick look at my website and determine where the ad zones are going to be and then we're going to take the ads that are already in the widgets area of the WordPress website and put those into the advertising management area. So of course first of all we're going to have the top sidebar zone and that's going to be a zone where we have different ads that we can switch in and out. I've got the Facebook like page. I've got another um, photo here that's just a regular banner and it's not managed through any banner manager. So this is another zone that we'll say halfway through or midway through the sidebar. And then we should have a, a bottom sidebar zone on this to start off with as well. And we'll learn more about zones in the next section of the video. So heading back to the admin area, let's go and put in some ad zones to start off with. We'll do those three where we're going to call it top sidebar. And this is going to be a 250 by 250 if we have one. I don't see one as standard, so I'll just put as custom one. 250 by 250 and it doesn't really need a description because we know what it's going to be. It's just all the ads in this top sidebar zone. Good. Now I'm going to add another um, bottom sidebar zone. And this one I want to make into a 160 by 600 banner. Submit that ad zone. And let's do that mid sidebar. And I'm going to make it another 250 by 250 because that's the size of the sidebar that I have there. So now we have three different zones in the sidebar area and we could make zones for all the different areas of the website. And when we go over the ultimate heat map coming up, it'll explain better what you can do with the zones. All right, heading back to the advertisers area, we're going to add a new campaign to our basic ads advertiser. Our default campaign, we're gonna call it default top sidebar. And submit that campaign. Then we're going to add a new banner to that campaign. 
And here we have all sorts of choices and how we're going to add that banner in there. And I'm going to do three different banner types as we're adding these in, just for examples for marketing directors and social media managers, maybe even hobbyists and small business owners who are setting this up yourself. So the name of this new banner is going to be Raven Tools. And I need a destination link. Now, like one of those cooking shows where they already have things pre-prepared, I've already got a link prepared for Raven Tools that I can put right in here. And later in this video, I'll go into details of how I prepared that link because it's important in how people perceive clicking on your links when they, they are reading them. In addition, I've already uploaded logo or the banner for this Raven Tools. And so I've got that link prepared to just copy and place into place as well. These are things that you'll need to have prepared to make this work correctly. Now I'm going to put this in 250 by 250. And there's no fallback image. There's no add mode. And I'm going to just submit this banner. And then I'm going to put it into the top sidebar zone. And now that I have an advertiser that has a campaign and has a banner associated to a zone, I've got to go into the zones area and take that top sidebar zone code and put this short tag into the widgets area of the website. So I'm going to go under appearance and under widgets. And under widgets, up in the top right, we've got details here on that very same banner. So I'm going to put in the short code. And when I look at the website, this banner should show up twice. Now let's refresh and see how this works. And um, if there's an error when I refresh here, then it's a good thing because I can show you how to fix that error when I refresh the page. Oh, so it did work. Just putting in that short code made the banner show up twice. So now I can remove the just the direct HTML code and use the banner manager to manage all of the banners that go into that spot. So back in the widgets area, now I can just remove the, the actual HTML code that was used to create that banner in the first place. And now I've got that, that area in the programmed so that I can manage many different things in that area, all in my banner manager. And now we can control what goes into each of these zones. We can also pull up statistics to show exactly how many times the ads have been shown, how many times they've been clicked, and what kind of click-through ratio you're getting on every one of the banners in each of your ad zones. A very powerful way to track the success of each piece of your website. Now that we know the process of creating zones and putting banners in and creating campaigns and adding different advertisers into the advertising management system, there's a really good amount of information to learn about adding the banners and the zones in the right place of your website so that you get the maximum results out of it. And so you can really improve the results that you're getting from the website that you already have with the traffic flow you're already getting just by arranging the zones of content correctly and putting the calls to action in the right place. And so I'd like to call to your attention the Ultimate Heat Map book by one of my long-term mentors, Michael Campbell. And you can see a link in the description of this website, or you can type in the website address that you see in the video here, douglampy.com slash ultimate dash heat dash map. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fill in the rest of these uh, zones with some basic banners that I have and just do the zones along the sidebar for now. And I also want to 
draw to your attention another plugin here in WordPress so that we get prepared for next video where we talk about what to put into these zones and how to monetize your website. No matter if you're a hobby person or a small uh, business or you're a nonprofit organization or you're a marketing director for a large firm, everybody's looking to make money off of the internet. That's why we're building relationships online. And there's specific ways to find advertisers who will help you, no matter what your subject matter is, to find advertisers to put into these zones where you can earn some money. And that's what I'll talk about next video. And to prepare for that, I would like you to go and look for this short URL plugin to add to your WordPress website. The Advertisers plugin is $25. The Short URL plugin is free. And you can use the Short URL plugin and add it to your website. There is, um, I think there's an upsell to it as well. But I'm really excited by the external redirections area of the site where you can copy and paste your affiliate link into place and then change your Short URL so that you can track how many people are going through all of your links. And then it's really great because you can take this link, as I did in this video, and put it into the video, put it into your YouTube channel in the description, in any place that you're putting out this content that's helpful for other people, for your audience, and you're providing them these solutions, they can also click through your short link ads and you can track all of the successes that you're having online. And so in preparing to monetize your website, we looked over how to set up ad zones and a plugin to help you with that. We looked at the ultimate heat map so that you can go and do some further research about how to arrange the content on your websites for the best results. And then I also introduced you to a shortcuts plugin that you could get installed to your WordPress site in preparation for next video when we talk about where to go and find real products that you can sell that you're going to make some money by selling these on your website. Thanks again for watching the website marketing tips and stuff for social media managers. This is a journal, a video journal of the process I take on several of my websites in turning them into revenue streams. And I share this with other social media managers and marketing directors so that you can benefit from the strategies that I've been using for more than a decade for all of my clients and my websites. If you have any questions at all about today's video or any other videos we have, please feel free to leave a comment below. I'm happy to answer you fully.